What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another two video. Pumping iron and pumping crypto is what it's all about on the Crypto Muscle Network. Got it all. I'm telling you, I keep saying it time and time again. Music, all right, news, entertainment, uh, platforms. I mean, we've got it all right here on the Crypto Muscle Network. I'm just saying. Telegram podcast and i keep saying it but i know eventually i'm going to follow through <laughs> and eventual live stream all right so all that stuff encompassed across two channels on the crypto muscle network and you know what you don't probably like 99.9 .9 of the time you don't ever hear me beg and oh uh, you know Hey guys, uh, before you do, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button while you're at it. And uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you're subscribed. And, and it keeps going on and on throughout the video. It's like, man, I don't know. I just don't even say that. Like your heart, I mean, phew, you, you, you really have to dig deep in all my videos to see when's the last time I actually do say anything about subscribing to my channel and stuff, right? And, uh, oh yeah, and make sure you subscribe to my Telegram channel and all that stuff, you know, because that's where all the important stuff comes in, you know, it's like, come on. All right. Uh, I am very active, though, in my Telegram group, I mean, I'll say that, but, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I just wanted to just kind of throw that all out there. And let's take a look at the market real quickly here. The Bitcoin is, uh, kind of just been running, I mean, sideways you know these last few days here it's just kind of like wow this whole market's been sideways so it's it says up 1.4 percent um so i don't know it's just i guess we'll just see what happens <laughs> all right so uh before i begin going into the crypto news i just wanted to throw this out there uh let's see if i can find it uh let me see here's it here is it here where's it at where's it at Fix pay, I guess, in the end, cannot fix your pay. Um, it was just one of those things, I guess. I don't know. It, it seems like, the from what I've been seeing, there's a lot of just drama and gossip going on with this one that it, it pretty much killed this already from the get-go. Um, just based on, you know, because I'm immersed in Telegram chats and things like that. That um, there's a lot of players involved in this thing, but you know, I decided to pull the plug, so that's what happened. So I just wanted to give you an update because I just posted a video earlier this morning, and it was kind of after hours, so it was kind of hard to gauge. But after reading all the stuff that's been going on in the chats uh, with this, it, it's a goner. So fix pay, no pay. All right, and so we just move on just, you know, today, right? And we keep playing for another day. So we still got Marathon. Did a video on that earlier, right, with, with the fixed pay. This one's paying. Still very new, still very, very popular. And then, of course, Vexum. We'll do an update on Vexum tomorrow. All right, so far so good. We'll see what happens. So that's just in connection with each other there so we'll stay on green because green you know money is green right as a theme so with that let's see what's going on here i'm going to come back to this in a second here about the board yacht club all right because i've been seeing some stuff here let me see here if i could find it all right so let me see right here this is kind of interesting um so the legendary Oracle himself, right, on the 21st, that was three days ago, talked about breaking news, Board Ape Yacht Club liquidations, right? And he talked about it in his video. And then, next thing you know, it was news reported uh, a day later about how NFTs drop from Board Ape uh, dropped to an eight-month low, right? So eighth month low, well, you're looking at, uh, let's see, a market cap. It's still the biggest NFT collection, right, at 656,000 ETH. 
and they said the floor price sits at 107,000. That's lower than what it was, uh, but up from its low of 87,000 in June. So, pretty crazy here uh, when you think about it. Uh, let's see. The NFTs have fallen to 65 ETH from reaching their all time high of 153 ETH on May 1st. So, it's struggling, right? And then as we keep going, uh, look at this. Buyer faces 3 million loss in squiggle NFTs. I mean, I don't know why you want to buy that crap. On a squiggle NFT bet amid crypto meltdown. The latest market analysis confirms that anonymous trader who bought a pair of, of uh, squiggle non-fungible tokens last year for a staggering 4 million because he tried to probably try to bet on it, right? Now attract more than 3.9 million loss amid the continuing general crypto meltdown. Man, I wish I was the guy that sold that. <laughs> Said, you're going to take it off my hands for $4 million? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Here, how about this? I'll make some more squiggles for you for free. Here, boom, boom, boom. All right. And just because. I mean, shit. $4 million? So, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so Anonymous Buyer bought two squiggle NFTs, right? So at the time, uh, let's see, uh, let's scroll down that, the buyer grabbed that. These purchases attracted the attention of the window, the winder uh, NFT community with many speculating the buyer was a venture company and all that stuff, right? And <laughs> now taking a 3.9 million loss of 4 million. Whew. Man, I wish I was the guy that sold that squiggle. And so... Bored Apes Yacht Club may be in danger of getting liquidated, right? So this was just yesterday reported. Uh, reports say that NFT le lending platform Bendow has collateralized uh, almost 3% of the entire uh, Bored Ape Yacht Club collection, and many have entered the danger zone of liquidation. So the Bendow lets users borrow ETH against their NFTs. The platform gives customers a loan equal to blah, blah, blah. Due to the floor price crashing, 45 of the 272 board apes and all that stuff face the danger zone worth, worth about 5.3 million. So there's your uh, liquidation that's coming for you. And uh, first reported by the legendary Oracle a couple days even before that. So there you go. Check it out. And while you're at it, check out. The Legendary Ones channel still going and flowing after all these years. Still living the space unlike any other, man. So many have come and gone, but Oracle is still the test of time from platforms, trading, and even news, right? Yeah, check it all out. I'm telling you. So let's move on. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, let's see. So... Crypto.com moves forward with multi-million dollar renovation of Staples Center following staff cuts. All right. That's a shit coin anyways. Crypto.com. I almost got their card, but then I just didn't do it. And so um, that's where I'm at with it. Just never did it. <laughs> Akala community votes to burn $2.97 billion of erroneously minted uh, stable coin, right? So, uh, a total of 3.0222 billion were previously minted via a liquidity bridge glitch. All right. Uh, Bitcoin whales attack sellers at 22K as euro drops below USD parity. Ah, I mean, we're, 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 this is just simply a bear market. And we're not anywhere getting out of this bear market. We're not anywhere getting out of the recession. We're not anywhere getting... Well, inflation is kind of, uh, you know, leveled off a little bit. Just a little bit. But still, it's still big right now in general. Um, Tencent receives patent for blockchain-based missing persons poster. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're just going to keep it moving. I'm trying to catch up on the crypto news, man. There's so much to catch up on. 
these last couple days because I, was, I wasn't able to get to it. We had so much other things to talk about. And so this is where we're at. Um, Telegram founder suggests NFT like smart contracts to auction usernames. Nobody cares. I don't care. Uh, Kramer. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I've read this a lot. That that Jim Kramer dude that's always pretty good about picking stocks, you know, on that Mad Money show that he does, um, says here he's developed a reputation in the crypto community for missing the mark, which is true. Uh, it's terrible in his crypto picks and all that. And uh, in, a, in a way, it is rocket science, but in a way, it's not rocket science when it comes to crypto picks. Um, you know, and to each its own, right? We just gotta keep going. What's this here? Uh, AM protocol pseudo rare disappears from the internet with 519 ETH. Wow. So pseudo rare suddenly shuts down its services and social media accounts after reportedly making away with 519 ETH worth about $815,000. Wow. Now imagine if ETH, if they just did not touch that 519 ETH, how much would it be at that peak 5,000 ETH price? Let's look that up real quick. I'm going to do a quick calculation here. That's $2.5 million. Can you believe that? Oof. Man. Uh, let's see what we else we got here. Man, there's so much to talk about. Where is today's DEX falling short? You know what it is? <laughs> too many DEXs around is what it is. Uh, that's why it's falling short. There's too many of them, too much competition. It's obvious. So, wrecked plebs. All right. Tiwi. Ultimate wrecked pleb. All right. Uh, wow. This guy here. Crypto Rover. I just opened a $150,000 Bitcoin long position. <laughs> Bitcoin was 39,000 on this day. Oh man. Massive loss there. Let's see. I don't know who this is. All right, so that's a, that's a pleb moment. Ronin hackers transfer stolen funds from ETH to Bitcoin and used sanctioned mixers. I wonder if they used that tornado one that was shut down. Uh, probably not, right? The hackers continue to spread out the stolen funds using pri Bitcoin privacy tools as means to remain anonymous despite the identity of the hackers believe a North Korean cybercrime group. Very interesting. Uh, GameStop NFT daily fee revenue plunges under 4000 as gloom infects markets. Because NFTs, it's, it's really a, a big ass crapshoot. Imagine DeFi is a crapshoot, all right? And now you're messing with NFTs. That's a, that's a smaller smaller segment in the market with a bigger crapshoot, right? That if you bet on the right NFT, like that one guy <laughs> selling his squiggles for four million dollars, boom, you're good. But you could find that one NFT that you think is gonna be good, and it's just a just a, another shit coin. So it's a smaller segment, and the risk is even higher than DeFi alone. So, yeah, it's just crazy. Just, you know, I don't like, I just don't personally mess with NFTs. I just don't like it. And I will not mess with it. You can give it to me free. I'll, I'll run with it. But I'm not going to buy it and bet on it. You know, so uh, I'll stay out of those things. Uh, ben Dow contract now only has 15 ETH left to pay lenders. Wow, it's gotten worse. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. That has gotten really bad. Wow. So Ben Dow, who bend over, right? Oh, man. Just saying. So uh, other than that, it's looking like I might have to wrap it up for this because, uh, this, you know, I'm just trying to catch up on everything. Ooh, look at this. Big, uh, breaking. Uh, bugs found in Ethereum clients' mainnet merge releases. Ooh. We'll have to come back and cover that in the next news update. But I just wanted to give you guys the latest information on fixed pay gone. And we just move forward. 
and the latest thing in crypto news. Other than that, comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.